Hi everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to Tales of Monkey Island for more point and click adventure game action. We are right back where we left off at the gateway and we're going to hopefully in this episode go through the gateway, well the little tear in time or whatever it is to the left of us and uh, see if we can crack on with the story. So let's do just that. Um, Galeb's over there. We want to go through this rip. And the voodoo lady's given us some instructions of what we need to do. So hopefully this is going to take us to where we need to go. Uh, ooh. No, this is... Our good friend. <laughs> Mr. Winslow? Relax, I'm not the captain anymore. I'm dead. Ah, yes. I thought you looked a bit more wispy than usual, sir. Wow. This is hardly the screaming narwhal. What happened? It was that nasty Lechuk fellow, sir. Ooh, you were right about that one. First, he knocked me off Knew the ship, it. and then he kidnapped your lovely wife. And then... Yes? Then he... Oh, I can hardly say it, sir. Did what did he, he do? Did kill someone? Force you to turn on your family and loved ones? He took down the map, sir. How does one expect to get map? anywhere oh. without a map? Okay, well, let's talk to this guy then. Mr. Winslow? Yes, sir. Uh, what are you doing out here? What are you doing out here? Sailing, sir. Sailing? Well, rafting at least. Right, okay. Why is there a monkey on the raft? Why is there a monkey on your raft? Actually, the raft belongs to the monkey, sir. LeChuck tried to convince your wife that right here was this creature's natural habitat. Between you and huh. me, sir, I dare say that LeChuck wasn't trying to help these poor monkeys at all. Really? Do you think so? Right, so we're going to have to interrupt the monkeys in some way then, I'm guessing. Um, what's happened to the narwhal? What happened to the narwhal? Well, it After looks LeChuck like we're by the manatee mating off, ground. He simply set it adrift at sea. Uh, okay, that's all for now. That's all for now, Mr. Winslow. Very good, so is that sir. literally all we can do here? There's the monkey. There's a pile of rocks and paper. Stuff? Those are the pieces I need to play a game I'm inventing called Rock Paper Fountain Pen. <laughs> right. Try scissors, man. It sounds a bit better. Hello, little monkey. I wouldn't, sir. He's still a bit frustrated that we can't agree on the props we need for our new game. Rock, paper, and I say fountain pen. He disagrees and gets rather bitey about it. I mean, it is a pretty rubbish idea for a game. Um, ocean, okay. Oh, we can jump in. Why is he holding his nose when we're a ghost? Ah, so we're back down. Oh, no. Murray. I think that's what's left of Dukava's ship. The voodoo lady's locket. It's stuck up there in that seaweed. But it looks like it survived ah. another harrowing voyage through a giant manatee. It didn't really look like... What's this? Oh, it's Dekava's helmet, I think. Like Dekava's helmet found its way out of the manatee in one piece. I wonder if Dekava was so lucky. I'm hoping not. Uh, there's the exit. Howler Monkey. What the hell is that? Oh, is that the name of his boat? The Howler Monkey. Forever committed to the salty depths. Right, okay. Uh, what else do we have here? It's a fishnet. Can we actually Sometimes do anything on with my that? Birthday, Elaine wears fishnets. Uh, oh, really? This being the real world, I still can't touch anything. So this fishnet has to stay here. <laughs> we'll um, skip giant over that. Bones. To think, my bout of Cyrano-styled romance has brought peace to these murky depths. Lovely. Uh, right, here's the sign. Yep, this was the home of La Esponja Grande. It was, it's not anymore. Uh, seaweed and the locket is all the way up there. How are we going to get that? And what's it attached to? Ocean Some sort of ocean bag? Isn't enough to jostle this seaweed. Come here, locket. Right, stack of shells. I always felt like selling seashells by the seashore was folly. I mean, <laughs> far away from where I can find them for free. What's going on? Did that weird, like, thing where yeah. the picture goes off? I don't know what it's about. Huh. Huh. Can we... That released a bit well, of air. I think we got off on the wrong foot. Foot. Oh, I'm sorry I made light of you not having two feet. 
Right, I wonder if there's any way we can get that like little burst of air to hit that. And maybe to, to knock it down or something. Can we go in the cave? Hello? Swim away! I'll zap you with this eel. Anemone? Guy brush? It's a mini mini mini. Uh, are you okay? Are you okay? No. Spinner K has been destroyed. Uh, what are you doing in there? What are you doing in there? What you should be doing. Hiding from him. Oh, man. What Dude, did he do Chuck, to you? He's gone. Nothing yet, thank Poseidon. Look, I know Winslow can be a bit forward, if not a bit body, but he's got a good heart. <laughs> Oh, not sweet Reggie, I mean the Chuck. Oh, I see. He Even I can do that. Come on, Guybrush, the keep up. The sails of his undead pirate ship are filled with the winds of the apocalypse. Oh, that's mm. not good. Look, come out and let's talk about this. No, I'm too frightened. Uh, I need your help out here. I need your help out here. For what? Well, stuff. unfortunately, I'm currently a ghost, so I can't touch anything. A ghost? How? What happened? I'll give you one guess. Killed by him! I'll stay in yep. here, thank you, where it's safe. Hmm, maybe we shouldn't have said that. Uh, you want to come out and talk? You want to come out and talk? No. Uh, it's not that scary. It's not that scary out here. I could be skewered by LeChuck's fiery harpoon at any second. What, it's underwater? not that bad. Okay, um, can I get you to come out? Can I get you to come out? No, I don't trust anyone. Well, maybe Reggie. Wait, Winslow? Right, okay. That salty dog. <laughs> Winslow's been working his magic. Winslow understands me. Huh. I wonder how that works. Um logistically. <laughs> logistically. Oh, no, <laughs> oh dear. You and Winslow are you and Winslow? You and Winslow are you and Winslow? I'd never assume he would have me as his life partner, but we have shared our love. Whoa. Oh, okay. <laughs> Disturbing. Uh, would you come out for Winslow? Would you come out for Winslow? I would venture out of the safety for a mere sign of my dear Reginald. A mere right, sign? Right, okay. A mer sign, perhaps? Huh? Mer sign, clever. I'll go see what I can do. <laughs> He's not too far away. Winslow isn't too far away. He's come to see me? Uh, sure. I knew what we had was special. I don't know if special is the word I'd use. <laughs> Where is my Reggie? He's in a raft floating above us. Then why doesn't he come down here and rescue me? It's like a hundred fathoms or something. He'd drown. You're here. I'm special. Yeah. I'm not I mean, I can hold my breath. Special is the word I would use. Uh, what was your relationship like? I'm not sure how to say this, but what was your relationship like? It was a rare thing, like a perfectly formed pearl in the mouth of a clam. Out of morbid curiosity, does he get into the water or do you shimmy up on land? <laughs> Forget it. Forget it. If you're so curious, you can find your own Bacalian. Not that any of us so have to. So <laughs> Tempting, but uh, I'll stick with my bipedal plunder bunny. Yeah, that's a good idea. Uh, <laughs> do we want to ask this question? You and Winslow are pretty hot and heavy. You and Winslow were pretty hot and heavy, huh? Weight is negligible underwater. Huh. All right. I think I'm grossed out. I don't. Okay. I'll be back later. Be careful. Yeah. I think I need to burn that image out of my mind, to be honest with you. <laughs> it's not something I want to be thinking about. Anyway, uh, let's try and get Winslow to come Up down here then. I'm not sure how we're going to do that, because I doubt he can hold his breath like Guybrush can. But let's see what we can do. Um, Mr. Winslow. Winslow. Yes, sir. A nepple, a nepple me is hiding out in a cave below your raft. A nemony could use a sign of affection. Let's do the top one, it's funny. A nepple me is hiding in a cave below your raft. What's this? My scale clad steady is but a few leagues beneath my heart. That's right. Ask a nemony to swim to me. Swim to me, my she sweetheart! Won't. Well, the problem is LeChuck. A nemony's terrified and hiding out below this pirate apocalypse monk. <laughs> Never gets old over. that joke, does it? Oh, tragic. Uh, your fishy friend refuses to leave the cave. Your uh, fishy friend is holed up in the Leviathan's old cave and refuses to leave it. Poor thing. Probably as frightened as a foul hooked haddock. Right, um. A nemony could choose a sign of affection. Perhaps you could drop something down to a stemily? Something to show you. A stemily? <laughs> Affection? A capital idea! 
Perhaps a poem. A haiku, even. Poem? I became a master of the haiku while working on the sashimi islands. Whatever. Interested. Don't you worry. While waiting for the currents to cooperate, I've been working on a game I've entitled Rock, Paper, Pen. For it's Rock, it Paper, play? Fountain, well, Pen. Paper beats rock. And then the player must shame the paper into defeat by filling it full of lewd phrases using the pen. <laughs> uh, nothing like a good shaming. Anyway, Everyone loves a good shaming. I need to write my dear Always reminds me of that bit of Game of Thrones. Where they have to walk Cersei through, and they're like, "Shame, shame, shame!" Well, I see in stone lift quivering spirits. Uh, okay. Do we go oh, down now, there and get it? We sir. can't really get it though, can we? Because we can't pick things up. Um, ocean. I mean, the not being able to pick things up is a little bit of a pain. Having to do things a different way. Uh, is that it there? Next to the net. It'd be improper to read someone's personal love letter. Plus, I'm sure it's chock full of more Winslow than I can handle. Nobody wants to know about that. <laughs> right, okay. Can we just tell her then? Are you still in there, and then in the me? As long as my chuck is still alive, I'll be in here. Thank you. Uh, Winslow dropped a note down to you. Okay, Anemone. this looks like it Winslow might work. dropped a note down to you. It's sitting right over there. Mi amore. Oh, she's here. Ah, that's you moved it. <laughs> I'll be back later. Be careful. Right, so. Oh no, it's gone back. Ah, right. Okay. Ooga booga. Ooga booga. Right. Can we? Do we have to time this, or is it slowing down? Right, go. That didn't work. Oh, maybe we timed it wrong. It didn't look like it was quite in line, did it? Right, can we do that? There we go. Holy clam bubbles! Lock it safe. Oh, I see it's going up to the surface. I thought it'd just fall down. I say. Right, so he's got the locket the now. My beloved has sent me a sign. I must prepare myself for our reunion. Mizzens! I haven't oh. smelled this rotten since languishing in my own filth while doing my time in the hold of that Captain sounds Liverpool disgusting. What's he got there? Where'd you get that What's deodorant that? from? Deodorant, Captain. Bought from the apothecary in Woodtick, I believe. Oh, Woodtick. I remember Winslow, Wood the locket Woodtick. isn't a sign from Anemone. She loved your poem, but I sent that locket up here. I can't touch it, but it's the thing that's going to reunite my ghost with my body. Oh, most important, then. Very most. important. Well, I'll hang it here as if it were our map. Remember our map, sir? How could I forget? Let this locket lead you back Right, to so what was it we needed to do? We needed to use it to repossess our body, to didn't we? Can we touch it then now? I'm guessing not, because we can't really touch anything. The voodoo lady's locket transfers spirits to bodies based on which way that little arrow button is pointing. I can't press it though, but I bet Winslow wouldn't mind helping. Right, okay, Winslow. Mr. Winslow? Can you press the yes, button? Uh, would you mind pushing the button Mr. on the locket? Winslow, would you mind pushing the button on that locket for your old captain? Certainly, sir. Mm. Nothing happened. I should have possessed the voodoo lady. I guess no one's home on the other end. Uh, okay. Can we turn it around all somehow? For now, Mr. Winslow. Very good, sir. Like the the way it does it? Can't touch anything, let alone press a button as a spirit. Winslow, can you Mr. Winslow? turn the little dial? Yes, sir. Uh, I think your poem was here. Let's do that then. Maybe we have to unlock some more options. It is an honor to think I may have brought a bit of peace to a frightened heart. Yeah, can you push the button again? Mr. Winslow, would you mind pushing the button on that locket for your old captain? Certainly, sir. <sighs> Nothing happened. I should have possessed no, the it's still working. I guess no one's home on the other end. Okay, that's, that's all, all for now. now. Mr. Winslow. Very good, sir. 
Do we have anything in our invent? We've got the shred of life. I wonder if we have to put the spirit photo on here. I'll just cover up the voodoo lady. Yeah. Right, ah. okay. Makes sense. The spirit and the body. Excellent. Right. Winslow, press Mr. it. Mr. Winslow? Yes, sir. We're getting our body back. Mr. Winslow, would you mind pushing the button on that locket for your old Then captain? things should be a lot Certainly, easier sir. when we can pick things up again. Here we go. Hmm. Did it work? It's definitely doing something. It worked. Ooh. We're back. I don't remember my body being this cold. Hey! Ah, great jumping gibbets! It's alive! <laughs> it ain't alive. It's some kind of voodoo zombie. Quick, jump no, it's not. Off. It's me. Ooh, wait a second. Don't worry, Your Honor. A good womp in the choppers ought to take care of this one. Uh, bring it on, Bug Juice. I'm sure we can talk this out. I'm Guybrush Threepwood. I mean to kill you all. I surrender. Uh, bring it on, Bug Juice. Bring it on, Bug Juice. Wow. Got knocked out. Are you all right, sir? Oh, what the hell? I think I just had the spirit knocked out of me. Ah, uh, yes, that would explain the girlish scream, sir. Right, maybe we have to pick a certain option then. Mr. Winslow? Uh, yes, Winslow, can you press the button again? Would you mind pressing the button again? Certainly, sir. So we've obviously got to say the right thing then. Back for another round, zombie boy. Uh, I'm sure we can talk this out. Uh, I'm sure we can talk this out. No, it looks like that's going to fail as well. So soon, sir. Ooh, yeah. Maybe I should try a different approach. Okay. Um, yes, let's sir. try the other one. Let's Would press it again. The button again. Certainly, sir. Okay, we're back. Back for another round, zombie boy. Oh yes. Uh, I surrender. Let's try. I surrender. I surrender. You do. Terrific. Off to jail with you. You there! I'll be back shortly. I'm taking this body to the jail. Sure. The ladies come calling. I'll right, tell them that's okay. where you went. So it looks like that worked. Great. I'm in jail. Again. Uh, pin up high. Oh, we can. Oh no, we can't get through to there. Ew, gross. That other windowsill is covered with chewed gum. Okay, there's a gum stalactite. That's Whoa, disgusting. That is one big wad of gum stuck up there. Uh, there's a mug. That cell gets a mug. I'm thirsty too. And there's is the that some kind of poster. poster in there. I can't quite see it from here. Uh, oh, there's a loose brick here. Hey, somebody stashed something behind this loose brick. A book. I wonder what this is. It's a diary. A diary. Nice. Dear diary. Bug Eyes well, diary. I am in jail. Apparently I misunderstood when the mer person I met asked if I needed a lift. I assumed that meant I could ride him all the way into town. Anyway, <laughs> I'm hiding you for now in case they search me. I don't want anyone knowing my personal inner thoughts. Hmm. Ah. What else is in here? Dear diary. I think that any moment now the manatees will start kissing. I hope I can slip Ugh. out just as he slips the tongue... Oh, oh, nice, nasty. Yeah, enough. Uh, okay. Ew, gross. So you can't get that. Is covered with chewed gum. We've got the diary. Right. So we've got we've got our ring back. We've got the hook back. The feast for the senses menu. So we've got like a combined invent now. Then, but there's literally nothing else we can do here. How the hell are we going to get out? Uh oh. My body is starting to feel all numb and tingly. I wonder if that's a bad sign. Uh, probably, right? Oh! Hey, what happened? I don't know, sir. The locket sparked a couple of times, and before I could say sexy fish, you were back here. Sexy fish? It's an expression, sir. Something I picked up while on my tour of the exotic Limbo Islands. So what you're saying is the effects of the locket are temporary. 
That does appear to be the case. Uh, well, that's just great. Yeah, it's very great. So, I'm thinking maybe we need to confront Bug Eye then about his sort of weird diary about manatee kissing or what. I mean, I don't want to think about what else it could have been, to be honest. It was manatee kissing. That's, you know, that's what we're talking. We're not, we're not giving any consideration to anything else. We're going to go... How the hell did we get to that area again? Is it up here? Can't even remember how we got through the rip to to where Bug Eye and Grind Stump are. Was it through here? Guess we're just gonna have to try them all. Fingers crossed. Yes, we've done. What? Hey, how'd my body get back here? We came to check on you and found it just laying around. We figured you were dead again, so we just put you back here. Oh, okay. Well, that was helpful of you, wasn't it? Um, right, Bug Eye. I bet Yo, we've got to Bug confront him. What do you want, Pipsqueak? How did you get out of the manatee? You gotta tell me how you got out of the manatee and ended up on Flotsam. What part of don't want to talk about it didn't you understand? No, no, let me guess. Ah, we now have the answer. You slipped out on the tongue. We didn't have that before. Hmm. Perhaps you waited around until the mating ritual, made your way to the tongue, and escaped when the manatee went in for the kiss. Hey, who told you that? That's private information. <laughs> and once free from the manatee... Right, so that's what you... we needed then. We needed to figure that out. Entertained a fishing boat, rode a merperson to Flotsam, tongued your way to Club 41. It was rode a merperson, wasn't it? Befriended a merperson who you ended up riding all the way to the shores of Flotsam. That's impossible! No one knows about that! Found your diary, buddy. I'm Bug Eye. I like to get in on the team <laughs> makeout sessions and ride Murphy around. <laughs> he deserves it. Me, boy? What the hell? Oh, do we have to beat him? Hooded, bugged out, nasty. What do you reckon? Do we have to copy it or something? Right, it's that one, isn't it? What's his mouth doing? Is it Meanie? It's definitely not Monkey. It's not Goma. Geezer? No, it's definitely Meanie. Do we have to pull that face? Arr, does it look like I'm mocking Because we're like mock yeah, we're mocking him, we're copying him, aren't we? We're taking the mick I'm out of him. Big bad bug eye. I keep a girly diary. I wish I had hair so I could put it up in curls. Let's just see how that face looks with my fist shoved in it. Whoop. All right, that's enough. I think you need some time to calm down, lad. It's off to the drunk tank for you. <laughs> You're you going away, buddy. Slime up the place while I'm gone. Ah, does that mean we can take things now? Oh, we can't because we're a ghost. <laughs> I'll oh, no, just leave him there until he cools off. Okay, so where did he go then? Where's did he go to prison or something? Hey WP. Hold on a tick. I've almost got my stroke back. Of course you have. Um Boo, I'm a scary ghost. Ooh, I'm a scary ghost. Ah, oh, can we do it to him as well? What one was it? It was stinky, wasn't it? Stinky tweaking meanie. Let's see if it works on him as well. Yeah, uh, quit that! You aren't scary! You just screwed up my concentration! Oh, do you know what? I bet we've got to use that mug from the prison under there to click up the grog. And get it in the mug. I bet, I bet that's what we've got to do. Um, but we are out of time for this one, so we're going to have to do that in the next one, unfortunately. But I think I'm onto something there. I said before about collecting that when it leaks out, didn't I? So I bet we've got to get that mug from that jail, from that jail cell. Um, we'll try and figure that out next time. So, as always, guys, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, click on that like button. It really does help the channel to grow, so I do appreciate it. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell if you're new, or just haven't already done so. And I'll see you all next time.